What's up guys, welcome back to the video. So today we'll be working on the trailer again. It's been a while and a lot of guys have asked me what's happening with the trailer and to be honest I was so preoccupied with other things I just couldn't get to it and also I've been sick. I'm better now so let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is the tactical drawing that I'm focusing on today and we'll be working on everything that is green on this thing. Sorry for the background noise, my daughter is having a ball of a laugh, it's on the trampoline. So we'll be working on these four uprights right there, this parameter all around, I'm going to put in a temporary structure right there and then I'll be working out on this angle. So if I move over to my technical drawing side, you can see that this is what we'll be focusing on today and that one. I really wanted to do this wheel arch today, but I would rather want to bend this on my bender and have smooth radius instead of these sharp corners, which will look much better in the end. So a lot of guys have been asking me how big this trailer is and to give you an idea, it's 2220 millimeters by 1680 millimeters and it's going to be a height from the base frame up to the top of around about one meter which is not crazy and it's made for this tent specifically also to note another thing the wheel spaces i'm still contemplating on doing eight millimeters or 16 millimeters but the issue of 60 millimeters is that the weight is just getting too much for using miles. So I'll have to go to aluminium and I'm struggling to find aluminium. So let's get cutting. Okay, so I'm going to start with this parameter first. You guys see that I'm using these little equal angles quite a lot on this build. To get this plane level, I saw this trick from Fireball Tools and I'll link the video down in the description where it explains exactly how you can level out using just three surfaces to make a level plane. He explains it very well, so we're then going to try this I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm going to do here and then we'll weld this together and then we'll weld up the upright to the trailer and then we can put it on and start working on that slated backside. So let's do this quickly.
so you guys can now see that we are getting somewhere eventually. So this top part was a little bit twisted. And I think that's due when I finally welded the two L shapes together that might have just twisted on itself. I don't know how to fix that, except doing what I did now. So next up, I'm going to just weld in these two extra supports. And then we're going to look at the back to do that, that upright and the slanted section. From there on, it's rather easy. It's just going to be some more support and most of that will be welded in. But now guys, I've finally got the idea of the height of what this trailer is. This is exactly the height. It's on its wheels, this is the height, and the tent will just fit on this and will open up very easily. And I'm happy with this height. It's not too high, it's not too low. So let's get cracking, let's do the rest and cut some more steel and get this puppy up and going, I guess. tricky and I get this wrong it's just gonna look wrong and it's gonna look skew and ah that's the last thing I want so I have made the drawing but I'm not going to work from the drawing I'll be measuring instead and then I'll be more accurate I think so this piece is cut at a, to a certain degree and that's to matter to get to that point as well So all I'm doing now is just measuring the maximum distance that I need. So now I'm going to go and cut this section at 788mm and I'm going to come, then I'm going to come back and I'll use my angle grinder just to get the degrees correct to what I need. So I'll do a mock-up, I'll put it there and I'll trace out exactly where I need to cut and that would be the most accurate to make this look pretty nice. As you guys can see, we are getting there eventually. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't do what I said I'm going to do. I made these two 900 millimeter sections. That way I can actually clamp it on, on the outside and just trace exactly what I need. So that's exactly what I'm going to do and I'll show you what, what I mean. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to clamp one on the outside. I don't want to waste too much material, but I guess 100 millimeters is not too bad. Just want to make sure that the edges are lined up. And that's pretty much it. All I have to do now is make sure this corner and that corner is lined up when this corner is lined up and then I can just mark it both on the inside. Easy as that. So there's my two markings, one's cut. This will just fit perfectly. Let me cut it.
guys. So it's looking pretty damn good. And I'm even thinking of maybe this should be part of the structure, my temporary solution. So for now, I'm done for today, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow. But first, I'm going to put this tent up on there and you can see exactly what it looks like. This might be a struggle alone, but let's try it at least. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, with this tent on top, it looks pretty damn high, I must say. So I just want to show you guys as well, I've got this gap here. This gap is for something else. This gap will accommodate an awning, a 270 degree awning, that's going to be able to slide up above my head, right about there. And then I'll be able to just open it up all around so so far so good feels good there's obviously going to be a lot of supports in here and a lot of supports down as i can already see the tent is pressing it down well but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll catch you guys tomorrow Okay guys, so this is where we are with the trailer at the moment. I know in the video I'll see you guys next day. Yeah, it's been six months. I actually, I didn't forget about it. I just never had time to edit it and I had so much on my hands to do. So it was shot in August. It's January again. Happy New Year to you guys. Anyways, let me show, guys show you what you just saw in the end of the wheel spaces that I made. I ended up making them with 16 millimeter steel and it works a dream. So look at this. So this is where we left the trailer last time. It's on the other side of the garage because we've got the BTR on this side. And the wheel spaces are in there and it's just, it works perfect. I can put my hand in there and also it's feeling very rugged at the moment. I must say I'm very happy with the trailer. The only thing I'm not happy with right now at the moment is that A-frame. I feel it's a bit too short maybe, but we'll look into that later on. So we've got the tent on top again. It's heavy and I need to fix it to the roof somehow. We'll sort that out later. And then I still haven't have a place for my spare wheel. I'm still thinking about that. You guys, please comment down below what you think, where I should place the spare wheel. And I'm working on lights. My one light is going there. So I've got one light left in this whole place and I'm busy with lights. So yeah, next time we will be adding in the supports here, building basically the whole frame. So make sure you watch out for that. So once again, as always, 
thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button down below and also the like button for this video keep safe cheers